Hello guys, welcome to my top 5 movies of 2018. This is my first top movies of a certain year uh, video I've ever done because I, I've always wanted to do one but I, I never thought I had enough reviews out for those specific movies that were on my list for previous years. Um, but you know, this time I, I really missed out on, on, on a lot of movies and doing a lot of reviews. Uh, it, it's been a odd year for me, but um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the video anyway. I'm, I'm going to give you my top five movies of 2018. And you know, I haven't watched everything and, uh, and, I, and, and the movies on this list are more specifically things I think people should watch. Uh, things I really recommend and then uh, I, th I think I have a couple here where that I feel were a bit under the radar kind of you know uh, didn't they, they're bit, they were a bit under popular so yeah here, here goes my top five list of 2018 I hope you enjoy number five in my list is a movie that I had trouble liking at first because I was a bit confused and I don't think this is in enough people's top 5 or 10 lists. Uh, I think it is underrated and I can see why too. Uh, my number 5 spot goes to Annihilation. I thought this was an amazing sci-fi movie. Uh, but the first time I watched it, I was a bit confused. Not about the movie, but about my feelings for it. I didn't know how to feel about it at first but this is what made me love this movie it's it's the it's the fact that it made me think about it for like a month like I couldn't stop thinking about it you know and honestly it's not it wasn't a bad movie you know when I finished watching it I was like what what did I just watch and then I noticed it raises a lot of questions it, it uh, you know it has a lot of depth to it and it's it, it, and it it does this thing that a lot of films try to do but Annihilation does it really clever it doesn't you know completely bury the film into you know being artistic you know it's artistic and at the same time this, there's a story you know there's a lot of movies that try to be really artistic but they lose the story in that you know attempt to be very symbolic but this one is both symbolic and has a story it has a storyline that can be followed and but by the end it it does get very you know symbolic and that's where it got that's where it started losing me and I was like what, what is going on and then you know I, I had to look for theories because I was so interested in, in like what was going on and I just I love this movie it's just I think a lot of more people should watch it. This is a really great sci-fi movie if people love sci-fi. If you love sci-fi, really check this out if you haven't. And go in with an open mind because it really is strange in a way. I, I, I can't explain it to you, which is one of the reasons I think you should watch it. This is number five on my list. Number four on my list is Avengers Infinity War. I think this is a movie that people, every fan of comic book movies especially Marvel you know cinematic universe movies should watch this this is a movie that was built up from the first Avengers and you know you're really missing out if you if you if you haven't watched it and I think you should I think this movie uh, did what was almost impossible actually it, you know the buildup of 10 years and to be this good uh, I, I was actually surprised I, I felt like you know, before you know, I went to watch it. I felt like it was going to be disappointing because that's ten years of buildup. You know, uh, I could get this. Anyone could be disappointed, and I think a lot of people were. But uh, in, in my opinion, I think they did an incredible job with this movie, and uh, I can't wait for Endgame. But uh, yeah, this is number four on my list. Number three on my list is A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place is a type of horror that I just I have a love for, and that is a horror. You know, it's not ghost horror, but, you know, creature horror. I, I like horrors with creatures in them, you know. Especially when there's a military involved fighting the creatures. But this one, you know, it, it's a family. And, uh, I mean, the way I described it was, you know, that Jurassic Park scene in the kitchen. It's that, but the whole movie. That's how I described it. And I think it is the perfect description for it. You know, you're all, they're always hiding. They always have to be quiet or else these things will get them and um, 
I just, I really love this movie and it was well directed, I liked the characters, the tension was good, there was jump scares but even then I, they weren't annoying like in some other movies are. I love this movie and it's uh, number three on my list. Now, number two, Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, action, action is my favorite genre of movies, I just love action and Mission Impossible Fallout satisfied me completely. I remember watching it in theaters and I was, you know, filled with adrenaline the whole time. It, it was such a good movie. Uh, the action, the martial arts action was directed really well. Tom Cruise doing his own stunts. So much passion put into this movie. The action, the set pieces, like everything about this movie I loved. I can't find any dull moments in it. I just, I love this movie. Uh, I think this is a uh, well-deserved number two spot. It could have been number one if I didn't watch my number one movie yesterday, which I will get to right now. My number one movie of 2018 was Bad Times at the El Royale. I watched this movie yesterday. I missed it in theaters. Uh, you know, I watched it on, on, on Amazon video. And uh, wow, this movie is different. The best way I could describe this movie without spoilers, which, trust me, you really gotta watch this without knowing anything about it. I watched one trailer and, you know, it, it spoiled one thing about a certain character. I don't want to say too much. But the, the best way to watch this is without, it's going blind. If you haven't watched anything about this movie, you haven't heard about this movie, just find a way to watch it. Trust me, it is one of the most unique movies of 2018. I, I thought... I, it resonated with me. I, I love the movie. Um, and in my opinion, it deserved my number one spot of 2018 movies. It, it's really clever and the dialogue here is amazing. The the plot, everything. I loved everything about this movie. The way it was directed, the way it was shot, the acting was brilliant. The, the unfolding of events was, you know, it gets more interesting as it goes along. I just you know, it, this this movie really got to me. I really liked it, and I I think anyone that's a fan of film, of mystery, of good characters, because the characters here are amazing, uh, good writing, dialogue. I think everything about this movie is amazing, and uh, really check it out. And if you if you have any way to check it out, please check it out. Please support this movie. I was too late to support it in theaters. I regret that. This movie would have been amazing there, but. Uh, yeah, find a way to watch it. I think this is a must-watch of 2018, and it rightfully deserves my number one spot. Now, that was my top five list. I want to know what your top five or top ten movies of 2018 were. If you agree with my list or not, I want to know, too. I just, I'm curious what everyone thought. Um, I'm surprised Bad Times at El Royale is actually not in, an, in enough top... Uh, top list of 2018 but yeah uh, please let me know what you think and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time